Hello, it is Monday, November 8th. Today and this week and probably forever on now, I'm going to start um, having these kids go straight over here to independent reading instead of coming to my table. They are too absent. This would normally be a group of six. They are to get the water out by themselves, get their special seating and get going. And also this week, I'm going to be getting a little more intentional with who I am pulling to my table and when. So I have created this lesson plan, uh, small group plans. And as you can see, I've got each of my group times, got the days, and I have the names here on who I'm going to be pulling first. I like smaller groups, so I will have three coming at a time, and these groups will stay the same throughout the week. Okay. Tuesdays read continuous text. We've changed Tuesdays. It used to be phonics review. I've changed it to read continuous text since a lot of these kids are starting to read. Um, then reading continuous text and phonics review can all be um, accomplished at once. Okay. The, the second group I'll be doing the PA phonics sheet. And the third group and fourth group look a lot like the first. Okay, so here I go. Kaysen's absent, so I'm going to get Ashton and Jocelyn. Ashton and Jocelyn, please bring your folders. On Mondays, I've been doing phonological awareness training and testing kids on the word list. Mondays and Fridays, and that will continue on. That's working really well. So I've got my PA training binder out here. And first I'm gonna test these kids on their word lists and then we'll do a little bit of this and then I need to send them on their merry way so I can get the next subgroup of this group. Hi, are you on list three? Mm -hmm. Okay, start reading. Are you on list three? Why don't you start here, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna to listen to both of you. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get at get. get. Did. Good girl. Good reading. Is an intervention student of mine, by the way. Can you be really careful on these eyes, honey? Because I see you pulling your corners back, but it kind of sounds like you're saying ka -e Make sure you're going in. Eh. That's another E sound you're making. I want to hear it. Eh. Go back here and make your S sound. Eh. Six. Okay. I'm gonna have you practice these some more. You're doing great, but you gotta watch this sound when you pull your corners back, okay? Keep going. Had. Yep. Good, okay, let me hear his top row. G it did. What? Did. No, you know what, Ashton? You're being really impulsive. Slow down, honey. We don't ever wanna read mm. wrong. When we read wrong, it's not, not even called reading, okay? Super slow. Think first. Good. Where's the good grandma sound right here? Good. Get. Good. Get. Beautiful. Stop for a minute. Since reading CVC words is such an important skill, and since I know they will struggle on list four and five without being solid on CVCs, I'm gonna have these kids keep practicing. No passing at this point. Here. So I'm not gonna go through this with everyone, but just to let you guys know, there's Ashton, he's here. Um, he's working on level B, which is blending. 
And then, Jocelyn. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. I don't see her name at the moment. So, let me see. Oh, yeah, there she is. Okay. So, she's working on segmenting. Okay, Ashton, ready? I'm going to say three sounds, and you tell me what the word is fast, okay? Get ready. Listen hard. P -ut. P -ut. Good job. Ready? Sad. Sad. Yes. Two more, okay? T -op. Top. Excellent. And how about this? B -ox. Box. Yeah, I'd say you're good at that. Let's pass you. Hey, sweets. Okay, I'm going to give you a word. You tell me all the sounds you hear, okay? Your word is dog. Beautiful. What are all the sounds you hear in man? Beautiful. Can you go a little bit louder? Two more, okay? What are all the sounds in chair? Beautiful. Okay, last one. Tell me all the sounds in door. Okay, and that had the OR, which a lot of kids connect together, so I'm going to give her one more. Last one. What are all the sounds in pack? Excellent. You guys are good at both of those, so let's move you on to something a little more challenging. All right, I've got some kids here, and Savannah is actually the first one I'm going to be practicing and possibly passing on level D1. And this comes um, from my notebook, my phonological training awareness um, notebook, and I put I put Kilpatrick's um, papers from his book right in here so I can be ready for her. Pop. Thank you for asking. Okay, Savannah, are you ready? Say birthday. Just say birthday. Good girl. Now, can you say birthday, but don't say birth? Good try. Watch my hands, okay? I'm going to lay the phone down for a minute. Watch this. Birthday. You try it. Two hands up. Birth. Day. Now, can you say it without the birth part? Birth. What's over here? Day. Put up two hands again. Birth. Day. Good girl. Okay. Try this. Daytime. Two hands. Day. Can you say it without day? What's left over here? Try it again. Day. Time. What's left over here? Time. Okay, let's practice one more, okay? Say airport. Good. Can you say it without the air? Oh, good girl. You're already getting the hang of it. So I'll try her again on Friday when I test on this again. So here is another student that I'm going to be trying level D1 with. And um, we do do this in Hegarty. I usually do hand signals. And I don't feel like I can model the hand signals. Um, I can for teaching, but not if I want to test her. So I'll start off with testing. If we need some teaching, I'll do it. Peyton, are you ready? Can you say birthday? Just say birthday. Good. They're so used to giving me sounds. Good. Your word is birthday. Now say it again, but don't say birth. Okay, let's try this. In this hand, put your hand out. Birth day. Okay, now can you say it without the birth? What's left over here? Birth day. Yeah, you just say day. Try this one. Say daytime. Do it with your hand. Say daytime. Good. Now say it without day. Good. Okay. Now, please say airport with your hands, please. Try it again. Say airport. Good. Can you say it without air? Port. Very nice. Okay. One more. Say football. No, do it the way I'm trying to get you to do it with your hands. Good. Now say it without foot. 
good. I think it's okay to teach them that way. It gives them a little visual of how they're splitting the word in half. We'll keep working on that, Peyton. All right, so interesting about this level D1. We've done it mm, a few times in head ready, not every day, definitely not part of any 15-minute routine. Um, but what I find interesting is anyone who says that kids cannot break words down at the phoneme level until they learn how to do this. Um, you could spend a lot of time on something like this and never get to actual reading. And here in front of me, um, a couple girls who struggled with this. Granted, it's the first day I've asked them to do this by themselves, so they're not real familiar with the question, but, you know, you're going to see right now, they can read CBC words and sentences, so why hold kids off from reading until they can do that? It's a big question I have, and I don't really believe in it. That's why we're getting going. Okay, hey, I'm testing on word lists. Keep going. Good reading. Do this again because I'm hearing a T sound at the end. Do it right. Good. Good girl. Can you go back and um, breathe again? Now breathe. <sighs> had. Had. We had a good day. Good. Okay, try this one for me. Go back and breathe again, honey. Hot. Okay, so you're going to have to practice these ones that start with H's. They seem to be the most challenging, okay? After you say your sounds, you get right back over there and breathe again. After you can do those, you'll pass. Mm -hmm. What's the sound for this letter? Good. Yep. Say it again. Must. 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 Are you stuck over there? X. Hey, make your hands like an X the way we learned it. Okay, so this girl is able to read these for the most part, but I would like to see her a little more fluent. So I'm going to keep her on this list. Just Gabriel at first, okay, Ellie? You just listen. Gabriel, please say the word goldfish. Goldfish. Now say it without gold. Fish. Fish, very nice. Say gumdrop. Gumdrop. Can you say it without gum? Drop. Nice. Say footprint. Can you say it without foot? Print. Very nice. Okay, Ellie, let's try you. Can you say sunset? Sunset. Now, can you say it without sun? Okay, try your hands. Say sunset. Sunset. Good. Can you say it without sun? Set. Good girl. Say seashell. Seashell. Say it without sea. Shell. Good girl. Say sandwich. Sandwich. Say it without sand. Which. All right. I think you guys are both very good at that. And I'm going to pass you. Um, I think it's really useful to be doing this in small groups because otherwise 
I really wouldn't have any idea where these guys are at. But with my record keeping up here, I always know exactly what they can and cannot do. Okay, as you may have seen on the video, <laughs> and it's not too hard to believe, this list is a little bit hard to read. It's taking me precious seconds to find the names and which skill they're working on in phonological awareness. So I'm gonna make a better list. It's going to have their names down the side and their names across, or sorry, and the levels across the top. I'll just check them off as they um, pass them and then it'll be real easy for me to tell what I need to work on them with. And also I can double check um, my record keeping with what I'm keeping up here um, because sometimes as you can see, I do make some mistakes and um, I'm a little bit off. Hello everyone, it is Tuesday, November 9th. Um, this week I am getting a little more intentional with my small groups. I'm going to be splitting my small groups into two smaller groups, trying to pull everyone every day. Um, and here's what we're doing for most of my groups today. We are going to be introducing nonsense words. We haven't really worked on nonsense yet, but they need to start realizing that not every word is going to um, make sense after they say the sounds because they need to um, read nonsense words on their mid-year testing coming up. And then my um, lower group, phonics, this PA phonics sheet, for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That looks like this. You've probably seen these. This is just a different variation on it. And uh, I like to have them work on this three days in a row. They're also seeing the exact same thing during intervention time with me. It has a lot of skills included all on one sheet. So now I'm getting kids settled at independent reading instead of coming to my table. Then I will pull from there. Hi, you two. Hello. Listen, today we're going to read some words that have sounds, just like things we've read before. So you'll be able to say these sounds and you'll be able to say them fast. But the thing about these words is that they don't really turn into real words. They're called nonsense words. Do you know what nonsense means? It means it doesn't really make sense. It's not going to sound very good, okay? So let's try a couple, okay? I'm going to have Jocelyn go first. Mm. Now put your lips back together and say, Mac. Mac. Good. How about you, this one? Mm. Mm. Uh-oh. Don't pull your corners mm. back on that. Mm. Mm. Can you hold on to this E a little longer, please? Nag. Mm. Mm. Uh, mm. That doesn't make sense. Right? Just what I was saying, huh? Does it make sense? Okay, your turn. How come you're saying E? What's this sound with corners back? Huh. E e you got it! I'm going to put a big star on that one for you. Okay, again, one of the reasons I do this, it's motivating for them to try to blend it. Okay, your turn. Uh, yes! Okay, let's do some more now that you're getting the hang of it. All right, now these kids got a lot of stars. They were motivating to read it better, so they're going to show you, okay? You did this one. Do it again. Cab. Say it again. Cab. Cab. Excellent. And you did this one. Can you do it again? That's a B. Bon. Very nice. And you did this one. Ludge. How's that for a word? Manya. Pretty funny, huh? Yeah. Okay, your turn. What? Uh, what? Yes! Good girl! All right, and you did this one. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. Excellent. And you did well on this one. Hey. Uh oh. You know how to do that. You did it last time. Try it again. Ricks. Good job, you two. Good job reading nonsense words. Wait, did we forget this one? Oh, yeah, we did. Go ahead. Excellent. These are two kids I'm working with currently in intervention, so I'm pretty proud of them. Okay, before I work with my next small, small group here, let's see what everyone else is doing on Tuesday, November 9th. Oh, this is looking good. Are you guys saying your number poems over here? They're supposed to be. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you first started. Yeah. Nice job. So they're practicing six, seven, eight, and nine. Bridges does bring in that number practice of six through ten kind of later than I would, but it's okay. We've been using them in other instances. Very nice. Since you're all done cutting these out, you could find a spot maybe on the floor and put them in order, okay? Nice job, I like how you're staying on the line. A couple weeks ago they cut out capital letters, practice putting them in order, and then took them home to use at home. Now we're trying it with the lowercase. Okay, don't get your letters mixed up, okay? Hey Peyton, that's looking pretty good. And the rest of their group is here. They pull a picture out of this tub, they try to draw it. What are you working on? Which one did you just draw? Um, I drew the pumpkin. Okay, and did, oh yeah, you got your puh, puh, your first sound. Good, okay. And is this your bed? Oh, sunglasses, nice, what do you hear? Oh yeah, very good. I like how you guys are putting the first sound. Yeah, that's looking great. And then my center is independent reading, and I'll be calling a few over. All right, kids, we're reading these nonsense words, words that do not make sense, okay? If you say all the sounds, I'll give you a star. If you say the word fast, I'll give you a star, okay? You're first, Peyton. Um, Mac. 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 Good girl. Oops, let me put that star up there. Okay? You're on this one. Mm. Egg. Uh oh, you forgot to go back and make your end sound. Mm. Egg. Neg. Neg. Remember, Neg. pretend word. Put a star underneath to indicate they could say the sounds on top to indicate that they blended it. I'll put their names on later. Good, your turn. It's piff. Piff. Beautiful reading. Is piff a real word? No. Remember, these are pretend words. You're up. Right here. Okay. Mm. Uh -oh. oh, I didn't see you put your lips together on that last mm. one. Vam. Vam. Okay. You were a little bit impulsive, right? Make sure you're thinking before you let your mouth say something. Whoa. Uh oh. Yeah. That's not a W. Think yeah. about yellow. Okay. Give it a try. Cad. Cad. Oh, excellent. You're not impulsive. Okay, slow down this time so you can get it right. Yes, you did. Bond. Is it real? No, it's not a real word. Okay, your turn. Um. Excellent. I did get him a little help in there, and there, but okay, one more for you. Excellent. Okay. You know, she's pretty competent at that. One more for you. Um, 
Um, yeah, yeah. Uk, uk, honey. Why? Yuk. Why did you say ooh right there? Yeah. yeah be what? careful, yeah. Yeah. Look at you. You're yeah. practicing already. I love it. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. You already made your X sound. Try again. Er. Corners back. Mm -hmm. er X. Excellent. It's hard to Thank say. you. Yes, it is. So, what I did was I told Stockton that if he wants to just read these words all at once instead of saying the sounds, he can try that because he's ready for that. Now, these other two kids listen to that, and just as you suspected, they want to try it too. And surprisingly, they kind of were. Okay, this is your word right here, honey. Bon. Bon. Nice job. Okay, Raylan. Close. Close. Try it with the sounds. Say your sounds. Can you say them out loud, please? Ooh, uh, Lunge. Very nice. I think, I think the first time you said lunge. Okay, you accidentally stuck an N in there. Okay, but you still read the word, so you're getting a star there. Okay. Was. Uh oh. Was. 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 Be careful. I know, honey, that it looks like was, but it's not was. And so we, when on these pretend words, we just need to say the sounds. Okay. Was. Was. Okay, Peyton. Make sure you're on task, or I'll say no. No special chairs for you. This is yours. I don't know what that means. Think about yellow for that letter. Yuck. Yuck? Nice job. So we actually don't want to encourage this too early, kids saying the sounds in their heads so that they can, you know, think they're reading it all at once because we do still want to hear them in their processing. But since they're doing okay, I'm not gonna say anything to them at the moment. Okay, sweets. Ricks. Ricks. Beautiful. Of course, she said them in her head first. I saw her. Gim. Gim. Good. Now I'm gonna go through and give them some random words so they can't practice beforehand. Hey, are you ready? Yeah. It's okay. June, do you have a question? If you don't, stay in your chair and make sure you're reading. Still training them for independent reading. Okay, now, Colt, try this one, please. Okay, tell me the sounds. No, no, no. What goes down into the toilet? P does. It's hanging down. That's a P. Piff. Beautiful. Raylan, try this one. Say it again. Cad. Yeah, good girl. Stockton, try this one. York. Excellent. Okay, so here it is November 9th, and we've got some kids here starting to do whole word reading of CBC words. Kind of blowing me away. And this young man here on the right is one of my intervention students for the month of November. So pretty impressive. So a big part of being successful here in this classroom is learning how to stay on task for independent reading, because this is where they're gonna get a lot of practicing done. Now. So let's see what kids are up to. Good reading, Colt. Don't forget to point, Peyton. Okay, Raylan, what are you working on? I do have one word. Practicing your word list, good. 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 Good.
like it's a beautiful day. Just, just, just a minute. Okay? Nice, June. It's good to see you on task. And Bentley, which one are you reading here? I, I see. I see, uh, I see, uh, the, uh, That's not a good. <laughs> the, uh, dots. Yes. See? Okay. All right. Next box, please. Right here. Try this one. You, you like, you like the, you like the, Rug. Excellent reading. Okay, kids, good job. That's what on task looks like over here. Okay, all right. I'm gonna ring my bell and check some work here. I try to ring exactly on the quarter hour, 15 minute centers. Ashton, no, 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 honey. I actually didn't look at that and tell you to put it in the basket. You have to slow down and wait for me to say it. Good, in the basket. Abram, nice work. Okay, let me come a little closer and see your work, Gabriel. Oh, I love how you're spacing your pictures out now and putting your first sounds. I love your sunglasses. Okay, and your new glasses. Basket. Hey, it is. Look neater today. Good girl. Ellie, nice work. Basket. Carter, yes. Good job cutting those out. Mariah, very nice. And Jocelyn, good girl, basket. Well, since those last kids did well with whole word reading, which I actually wasn't planning on teaching to anyone today, I'm going to mention it to these kids and see how they do. So some of my higher readers, I'm sure they'll probably be able to. Kids, listen. Sometimes when we read words, they don't always turn into a real word, okay? Sometimes they're pretend words and also called nonsense words. That's what we're going to be reading today. So when you put your sounds together, if it doesn't sound like a real word, it's okay, all right? Now, also, you might want to try this. So let's say Adeline looks at this word. Maybe she doesn't want to say all the sounds. Maybe she's just going to try to read it fast okay if you want to try that today and you think you're ready for it you can okay all right let's start right here with Mad or Adeline Mac. Mac yes okay let's go to Gabriel uh -huh, I heard an A in the middle can you try again with the E Neg. Very nice. See, it's a pretend word, isn't it? Good job. Okay, let's do this one for you. And then you'll have to go back and make your Y sound, okay? Yedge. Yedge. Okay, so I'll put a star underneath. She did say it sounds correctly. How about this one? Beautiful. Okay. Gabriel, try this. What? Ludge. Ludge. Yes. I don't really want to mention it again if, they're, if they don't think they want to try it because it's not a good thing to push kids into too quickly. All right, miss. How about here? Uh, I know that word looks like was, but it's not was, and you cannot make a Z sound. Try again. It's not was, okay? Try again. Was. Good fix up. All right, how about this? Ricks. Yeah, Ricks. Nice job. And how about this? Lovely. Hello, I have three new readers here. This is, again, Tuesday, November 9th. 
And girls, let me tell you, sometimes when we read words, they don't always turn into a real word, okay? There's just gonna be sometimes at school when you read pretend words. So if it's a pretend word, I don't want you to say like, mm, I think I need to change that because it's not a real word. You can just leave it pretend, okay? These are nonsense words. Nonsense means pretend. Now, if you want to say all the sounds and then say it fast, you can, or, you might want to go like this. You just look at a word and say it fast for me, okay? It's up to you, all right? Let's start with Carson. And Carson, you're going to try this word right here. Okay. C -ad -cad. Beautiful, okay? Bela, try this word. Mm -hmm. Good. Cadence, how about this? If Excellent. Carson. Er, X, Rex. Nice reading. And how about this? Uh, Ludge. Nice. And how about this one? Ad, Good. Okay, very proficient. So I'm going to mention it to them again. Now remember, if you want to, you can just look at the word and try to say it fast. So let's say she looks at this and she might just say, bon. Okay, bon. It's not a real word, okay? If you want to, all right? Carson, how about this one? Yuck. Yes. How about this word? Good. And try this one. Excellent. Good. So I'm definitely not going to push them any more than that. That was really good reading, girls. Okay, so just some quick little assessment today. Most of my kids cycled through, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12 today, who could who seem proficient at reading those CBC nonsense words. And then one, sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, who need a little more work, but most of those 10 are saying their sounds at least. So just thinking ahead to mid-year dibbles. If all goes well, they should have some pretty good scores. And I don't want you to think I'm obsessed with test scores, but I do think that dibbles um, actually test, is, test the kids on some very necessary emergent reading skills and um, test them in a fair way. So I do like it. You do not need to write your name on the bag. Just put them in your bag. I did. Thank you, girl. Bye. You guys, I told you that I was going to be doing these papers with my lowest group, my second group on here. And um, I was going to be doing this on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. It is Tuesday. Um, notice, though, or you may have noticed, you may have noticed before I did, that I actually did the nonsense word paper with these low kids. Now, I wasn't going to bother them with nonsense words because I would, at this point, am happy if they can just read a real word. Um, but anyway, with all my intentional planning, um, I messed this up. But of course, no harm done. And they did very well with those nonsense words. In fact, um, yeah, I just learned more about them as readers. And so it surely didn't hurt them. I'll get back on track tomorrow. That's kind of our life story, isn't it? Hello, everyone. It is Wednesday, November 10th. We are back in masks at our school. So I apologize about that. It isn't quite as pleasant working with kids or um, watching them learn. Today, just a minute, please. Today is continuous text day. Um, some of my students will be working on this, which I forgot to do yesterday. I'm going to have some kids, one group is going to review this, which is already in their folder because um, they need more practice with that. Another group is moving on to 
more challenging continuous text as you can see still no picture clues and then i hope to get this to my reader reader and it's a three-page decodable passage with comprehension questions and an opportunity to write continuous text so let's get started Okay, you two, you've practiced on this a little bit and we're gonna see how you're doing with this, okay? All right, let's start with Ashton. I Keep going, please. I like, I like a, I like a, a pen. A pen, yes, like teachers write with a pen. That was beautiful. Jocelyn, how about you? No, Y-O-U, what does that spell? What is that word? You. Jocelyn, honey, don't you see that we have learned these words? They are the words over there that we practice all the time. When I ask you over there to read them, you know how. So you have to remember if you see them in here, or if you see them in a book, or if you see them somewhere else, you know how to say them, okay? All right, watch. You, you see. Keep going. You see the Good girl. Map. Remember, a map is a picture of places you can go. Yes? Peyton, do you remember what happened before when you're bothering me when I'm teaching? I've already taught you what to do, and it was not come and bother the teacher. What are you supposed to do? No, you are not. What are you supposed to do? Say, please stop. Go do that. Hi. Yes, you may. Okay, your turn. Jocelyn, listen you, to him. You, you like... Listen to him. You like the... You like the... Mm, um, no, let me try again. You like the... Mm, um, Man. Man. You like the man. Maybe he's a nice man, right? Okay, Jocelyn. Good girl. Uh oh. That's a B sound. Let's try again. Cab. Say it fast, please. Cab. Very nice. Do you remember what a cab is? A taxi cab. Remember the car that can come and give you a ride? Did I ask you to leave the table? Mm -mm. Then you came back interrupting. Please stay in your seat, okay? Thank you. All right, you guys are going to go read this by yourself and some other things in your folder. Good work. All right, let's see what else is happening here. At Miss Lori's center, kids are putting their letters in order. Did Miss Lori ask you to go backwards? Or are you just challenging yourself? Okay, as long as you can do it. She's got them spread out. Do you want to start with A, like the alphabet starts with? You don't have to. What's wrong? You can't find your A? Oh. Oh, well, find all the ones that look like they might be B, and then you can decide, okay? Which one's B? Yep, okay. So that's good. They'll do this a few times here at school, and then I'll send them home in their bags to practice at home. These kids are working on our next habit of mind. Looks a little bit impulsive and scribbly. Be careful, okay? Okay, and this one is responding with wonderment and awe, which is a good one. It's a good video. 
Very nice. Lilith, try to keep your shoes off the puzzle pieces, okay? And these kids are working on a new I Spy CBC Words paper. Good. Are you helping her a little bit? Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Okay. Are you guys on task? Yep. I'm like, Jocelyn is. Good. Okay. Keep going. All right. Now I'm going to get to the review fluency ladder with these two kids. Okay. In group two. Center number two is now here. I'm going to pull these two. One is absent. <clears throat> we'll be working on one of the PA font sheets. Hello, girls. Okay, let's touch our letters. First, we're going to say the names really loud. Tummy and hiss. Come on, you guys. I knew because you love that one, don't you? Lilith, you love to say A and then sneeze, right? Let's try it, girls. Sneeze in your elbow. A. Good. Okay, keep going. I can't help you read all of those. Pick something different in your folder that you want to do. Oh. Did you guys get this one? Remember, it's Jocelyn's letter. J, J. Jocelyn starts with J, J, J. Good. Okay. Then pick a different one that you can read, okay? I don't see glasses down here. What are you trying to read? No, that's not how you do it. You need to read a word and then find the picture. Do not color these unless you read it. That's wrong, okay? Read and then color. Okay? Okay, what's this last one? Woo. Yes, that's how she says you. She says woo. Good. All right, let me put a star on for you, okay? Because you guys said the letter names. Now, I like to call these kids in pairs because they keep each other moving along nicely, okay? All right, let's go back. We're going to say the sounds. Here we go. Yes. Good. Yeah, screaming letter. Yeah, yeah. Good. Nice. Oops, don't, I don't want to hear an A sound. What does grandma say? E. No. Eh. 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 Good. 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 That's our jumping letter, Lilith. Remember, we bend our knees, we get ready to jump. J, J, jump. Okay. Oh, pretty happy with these intervention students. Okay, what's this picture showing? What's he doing? Bat. You could be bat. What did he do to that ball? He smacked. He hit the ball. This is hit, okay? Girls, what's the first sound in hit? Good, write it, please. You guys write your first sound, yes? Oh, I don't know. Um... The Honey, pick one. Try to read it. If you can read it, then look for it. If you can't read it or you don't know what it means, then pick a different one. Okay? All right. Lovely. Oh, oh, where's your lowercase? Hurry, do a fix up. I'm going to do one picture and then I'm going to move on to my next girl. Okay? This sheet lasts for two or three days. Where? Elephant? What do you mean? You didn't read the word elephant down here. I know, but. Read a word. Pick one. I'm going to show you how to do this. Pick a word. Okay, this one? 
Okay, read it. Top. Top. Very nice. Now, a top is a toy. Yes. So you read, then you color. Okay? That's how you do it. Okay, girls, let's get. Hey, look at me. Show me on your fingers all the sounds you hear and hit. Wait, wait, wait. She forgot to do it. Here we go. All the sounds and hit. Beautiful. Finish your word, please. Keep going. How come you're erasing that beautiful thing? Oh, was it hanging down a little bit? Okay, good girl. I like how you're striving for accuracy. Finish it. Oh my gosh. What did you write? Good spelling. What does yours say, Lilith? Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to save these papers for you and we'll work on them again tomorrow. Okay, I thought I made a video talking to Stockton about this passage, but um, it didn't record. So here we go again. He's reading this passage. We got started. He finished on his own. Now you're working on your questions. Okay. And did you have to look back here for some of your information? Good. Okay. So try this now. Write a sentence about each, each picture. Okay, you're gonna write a sentence that goes with the story. I'm gonna turn these over, okay? I don't want you to copy. So it's kind of like your journal. You'll think of an idea and write it, okay? Listen to your sounds. Aren't you with Miss Lori? Yes. Go talk to her, please. All right, let's turn to this new paper I just gave you, okay? I'm already working. Okay, just a minute, Bentley, wait for us. Okay. Let's find June's, here it is. Okay, top box, please point. Okay, let's read, here we go. I can see, I can see, Okay, let's stop there, Bentley, okay? Peyton, you're gonna have to say your sounds on this word, okay? Let me hear you. Can. Good. A little louder, June. I can. Louder, please. I can see. Dog, good. Okay, keep reading. I see the uh oh, what's that word? I see the I Okay, I'm gonna listen to someone else because you're not even trying to say the sounds. Okay, Bentley. Cat. Good. You said can, 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 okay, as you can see this fluency type ladder, actually just calling them um, um, fluency sentences. Is definitely a step up from what they've had. Did you get that word right here? What was it? Hen. What's a hen? A lady chicken. You're right, a lady chicken. It's our vocabulary word, okay? Let me hear this sentence. I like the dog. Get busy, please. And Get busy, please. Yep. I can see. I can see a dog. Good. So here I'm not only assessing their reading, but I'm assessing my ability to create something that's just right for them. Zone of proximal development should be a bit challenging, especially since this will be in their folder for several days. I want it to be Cat. just slightly above what they can do comfortably. What do you need? I think I need a plastic. 
Honey, I'm not doing wordless today. I'm glad you're practicing, but don't bother me with that right now. If you can't find it, then pick a different word. Okay. Yes, you may. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off and work with these kids a bit more. Oh, let's check in on Stockton first. The dog did not feel well, so she took the cat to the vet. Uh-oh! Oh, you're gonna do a fix up. Nice fix up. I like your sentence. I can see a dog. I can see the cat. I see the cat. For the first time, they're really having to monitor themselves. So this is a great little step up. I can see. What is a hen? It's a girl chicken. A girl chicken. It was our vocabulary. <laughs> this one's really long. You can do it. Hen. I can see a hen. What is a hen? A girl chicken. Yes. Ooh, this one's hard. Okay, everybody stop for a minute. Look at me. Just because the next one is long, does it mean it's hard, Colt, okay? You guys, look at me. You pretty much know how to read, okay? So let's give it a chance. Here we go. I like the dog and and Get busy, Peyton, you're off task. Uh, I... Well, you got off track. I like the dog, dog. and yes. See, it was easy, wasn't it? Let's see you read it. I like the dog. Oops. You said I right there. When your mouse says something and it doesn't match the letters, then you have to do a fix up. Okay. Try again. Keep going, Colt. Hey, Tin, I'll have to see you at recess. And Where's your folder? Since you're off task, you'll need to try it at recess, okay? Hey. Yes. So that wasn't so hard, was it? It wasn't. Okay. All right. Colt, let me hear you read this bottom one. Y-E-S. No, just say yes, okay? Did you say yes? Yeah. Let me hear it. Yes. Good. Where's your claws? Guys are on the same word. No, 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 no. We don't just say hen, we look at the sounds. Everybody, touch them. Beautiful. Okay, put those away. You can work on them more later. And this is what he got accomplished. So, this is what I'm dealing with him. I thought this might last him a couple days, but nope. So, I will continue to see what I can do for him. All right, let's check your work. Okay, moving on to my last center. These are some of my higher readers. Um, nothing like this kid, but they are definitely learning to read quickly. So, uh, we are on continuous text day, and we're going to be reading this, so we'll see how they do with it. Somebody broke this Okay, again, I'm not, uh, these should be on your face. I know it's hard with your mask, but you need to use them and get used to them, okay? Again, I'm not just going to be watching how they read this, but 
I'm going to be thinking about what should I be making for them next if need be. Okay, you guys ready? Let's touch our top box and read together. Okay, hey, wait for a minute. I did not hear you say your sounds on this. Do you already know this word? What is it? If you don't know it, say the sounds. Do you already know this word? Mm -hmm. What is it? Okay. What? K. K? Cane. Cane. Are you trying to say can? Can. I need a good A sound, okay? Okay. Go ahead. Keep reading at your own speed. I can be a dog. Good. I can be I be the Beautiful reading, okay? All right, try these. Can the red hat? Yep. Uh oh, careful. Did you say can right there? Oh. Look at it carefully. I like the dog. And honey, where is your screaming sound? one of your word lists, okay? Pretty sure you've had that on a word list. Okay, let's see. What is that word? And. Why are you saying and? Where's your screaming sound? And. Scream. Ah. And. Okay. This is a very interesting way of making a short A sound. Um, so, anyway, and I do not want you to say and, okay? Listen, let me give you an example, okay? Do we do this? Please wash your hands and get your lunch. That's not what we say, is it? We say this. Please wash your hands and get your lunch. So your mouth should say and, okay? Keep going. And. No, and. And. Okay. And. The. Ha. Ha. And and no and uh, and good uh, and yep and the hem. Okay, I'm really not sure she can hear the difference between the way I'm saying it and she is. So I'll probably start to let that go. I'm gonna send these kids on their way and get my other group. Okay, so yeah. this girl looked at this piece of paper, and what did you say when you looked at it? Didn't you say, oh my gosh, this is going to be hard, right? And what did I say to you? It looks hard. It looks hard, but... It's not. It's not. And what do you think so far? You just read this whole box of words. Was it hard? Not really, huh? Because you know how to read now. Keep going. Hem, um, Keep going. I'll listen to you in a minute. You see the red hat. 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 We don't do that right. Uh, red hat. 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 Carson, please just read and I'll fix that for you in a minute. Can see the all right, where are you at? Let's move your hair, please. Okay, where are you at? Right here? Go ahead. Can you see a red pen? I see pen. Okay. What did I say to you? Nope. I said I want to see you reading and I will fix this. You must read now or recess. 
Stop fixing. Read. Thank you. Yes, I is can see the red pen and the red Good reading. Okay. All right. Let me hear you. Right here. I like the dog. Dog. Yeah. Good. No, 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 you don't stop and move down. You have to finish to your period. just right for a lot of my readers today um, right in their zone of proximal development challenging right cadence but not too hard right challenging i know you read all of them challenging but we can do it okay then um it's just you know i don't really want to pull out a decoder boy book it could be too easy or too hard for them okay it just works for me to make my own Okay, quick shot of the room here. We've got some readers on task puzzles. Oh, oh, some kids asking for help. Letters in order. Kids coloring. All right, hello everyone. It is Thursday, November 11th, Veterans Day. Thank you to any veterans out there. On Thursdays, I try to do write continuous text, so I went ahead and put my ideas down so I don't have to waste any time thinking about them today. And we're going to have a little disorganization during centers because it's picture retake day. Okay, so my first group here. I need Case and Ashton and Jocelyn, please. Thank you. Come here. I'm going to hold your folder for today. Thank you for getting going on your independent reading. Today we're going to be writing some sentences. The first thing I want you kids to do is to write your name, your very best. Okay, Jocelyn, this looks pretty good, but it looks like your N might be backwards, okay? You need to start it over here, down, trace it up with a bump. Okay, Sin, pretty good. Where's your tall K? Ashton, please stop turning around. Second time you've been backwards at my um, center. It's not allowed, okay? Ashton. This looks good. I'm going to put a star by it. Your Y looks like a T. Can you fix that, please? Thank you. All right, listen, you three. Hey, please don't turn around at my center. You're going to write a sentence, and this is how it goes. By the way, this is a race, and I want you to go as fast as you can. Your center is, I, your sentence is, I like to see my mom. Start with I. Mom. I, I like. Where's your finger space? Gotta have finger spaces. I. What does I look like? It's on our easel on the other side. Do you remember what it looks like? It's a capital. What does like look like? Do you remember how to spell like? No. Let's listen to your sounds, okay? Oh, I, I, I. And it's a K for like. Okay. Do you have a big mess going already? You know what happens with that. You gotta start over. Okay, come up here. I, finger space. And don't write messy, please. I like to see my mom. Oh, sorry. Let's see what you have here. Move your hand. I like two. Do you need an S for two? Take that S out of there. Mm -mm. Down. In. Out. For K. Those are the words we say, okay? Okay, hold your paper steady. Hold your paper steady. This hand. Thank you, dear. 
straight across and around. Okay, I like two. You remember how to do two? Let's see. I like to see. How do we write C? I like to. Is that your T O? To C. C. Where's C? Where are your finger spaces, honey? If you hook these together again, I'm going to have to cross this off. You have to use finger spaces. Wow, I'm pretty sure I just put a post out this morning that said writing was getting less painful. Sometimes it's painful. We know that. I like to be to see. Is that how we spell C? You remember up there on our easel? How do we do C? Can you think about it in your mind? Hey, talk to me. I don't have any space. I like to see. How do we spell C? S E E. S E E. I like to. How can we have an S hooked onto two? Scoot that over. You have to have a finger space. Alright, here come picture retakes. So. Like, Miss Lori will be do leading. Sure, that's a great idea. Okay, I'll be back, kids. Say it again, honey. Okay, go ahead and say your sounds. I'll help you. Not. Hey, look at me. Thanks for coming to ask. That means you're on task. Yes. Okay, let's see what's going on. This is Miss Lori's center, but she disappeared. Oh, she, Carson. Where'd she go? Oh, Carson was going with Miss Lori. Oh, <laughs> let's see how you guys did. Are you ready, Mom and Dad? Yeah. So do you have to think about the picture and decide if it's a mom or a dad? Yeah. And are you using your best handwriting? Yes. Oh my gosh, I love it. If you're done, why don't you turn your papers over and draw a picture of your mom and your dad on the back, okay? Stockton, have a seat, mister. Okay. I don't want you just standing around because look, you didn't do talls and shorts and hang downs. Okay, this looks a little funny. You did good work, but how come you put capital S's on some of these words? How come your H isn't tall? Fix this up, okay? Thanks. Oh, I like your spaces today, good. June. You've only done three words. Better hurry, because I'm going to ring the bell soon. Good. What is this messy stuff? Name. Get that line off of your name. That's not how you write your name. Do it right, please. Okay. Got puzzle going over here. We've got I spy CBC words. This is a new one. How are you doing? Good. How come you scribbled on this guy? Okay, we don't want scribbling in kindergarten. How come your bat is orange? Seems impulsive. Please think first. And if you need help, come see me. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. I like to see my mom. Very nice. Where's your silent E on like? And put your period. I like to see my mom. Very nice. I like to see my, remember when we wrote my yesterday in writing time? How does it go, Jocelyn? M, Y. You need a Y right there. What do you need help with? Where's your screaming sound? Okay, hook the first two together. Good. She's really trying hard to pass Liz, too. I like how you ask for help. All right, so things don't always run smoothly. Sometimes we have a little craziness, like taking forever to get a sentence down. And of course, that should tell me. That was just a few too many words for this group, okay? 
but in the end, we got it accomplished. However, you'll notice I did not call my other kids, so that's not so great. All right, I'm gonna ring the bell. All right, you too, hello. Isabella asked if we're finishing this today. Well, kind of. This might be our last day to work on it, okay? All right, first we're gonna touch our letters. And um, teachers, I'm not gonna have you watch this again, maybe when we get to gas, but this you've seen plenty of times. Okay, okay girlies, let's take a look at this. What's this a picture of? Gas. Gas, we saw that yesterday during intervention time, okay? All right, before you do anything, what's the first sound in gas? G -g Oops, listen to my question. What's the first sound in gas? G Very nice, write that one. Remember, it's a hang down. It's the goat in the throat. Look over there if you need to find it. Mm -mm, we say make a C. It has to start with a C. Take that off and put a C down here on the line. No, honey, it's our goat letter. Look over there and find the goat if you need to. Put your C on the line, like I said. C's don't float around up here in the air. You didn't, did you make the C? I didn't see you. Doesn't look like you did. Can you raise that, please? Okay, make a C. Up, down with a hook. Make, hold your pencil right. Make a C up, down with a hook. Okay, now listen to this question again. What's the first sound you hear in gas? Uh, uh, uh. What's the first sound you hear? Right. If I say first sound, don't tell me all the sounds, okay? All right, now, what's the next sound in gas? Yeah, ready? G. G. Write it. N. Good girl. No, no, no. We're not making capital A. Nice job, Dakota. Okay, let's go. Do you know what A looks like? You know what you're going to do? Good. It's in your name, isn't it? Yeah, right here. You got to know A. All right. Girls, tell me all the sounds for gas. Write that last sound. Mm -hmm, that's called an S, okay? Gas, good job writing gas. All right, I'm gonna send you girls to read in your folder, okay? They're not really quite ready to read um, the CBC words that are on a list, something they're practicing all the time. So I'm not gonna waste my time with that. It's not in their zone of proximal development. All right, hello kids. Hello. We're only gonna have time for one of these, so I think I'm gonna try this bottom one here. You ready? This is a race, try your best. She can see a fish. She can, that's our new sound. Do you remember it? Start over here. Start over here. Okay, come down here a little bit, honey. You don't have to scrunch everything together. Wait, that's an upside down. Upside down. Oh, this is one of those kids are like, okay, what am I going to do with them? Oh, that's yeah. the next one. Something needs to be tall on there, honey. See? What needs to be tall that you can make? What's the next she can see a fish. Let me see your finger space. Okay, good. Uh oh. Can. Can. Hey. Can. Not kin. Can. Yes? Yes, you can. No, it doesn't look like all of your words, but at least you did a few more. Put it in the basket. 
Okay, I guess you're not done yet? How do you show people that you're done with a sentence? Okay, very nice. I'll give you five stars for that. Okay, your next one is, he likes to see his mom. What's the next? How do we spell see? How do we spell C? It's a word that we know. Double E's, honey. S-E-E. -E. Right? Isn't that on our easel? Yeah. She can fish. She can see a fish. Can I do a fix up here? Honey, I don't want you to put an apostrophe S on words unless I talk to you about it, okay? Then I can explain what they're for, okay? I know you've probably seen them on some words, but on a word like likes, we write like and then we just stick an S sound on the end, okay? Take your apostrophe off and think about how we start each idea, each sentence that we write. She can, good, finger space please, and see. Finger space and see. Okay, I'm still wondering about this. She can, can, or can? Can, can, can. It's an A sound right there, okay? Yeah, I've had so many problems with short A as I do this year. Some kids just pronounce it a little differently than most of us around here. Okay, is this a two? Looks like one. She can see. She can see a. Where's your a? She can see a fish. You need a big finger space right here. And then a. He likes to see his mom. Good. Five more, okay. Stockton, I like how you think about everything you're writing. I like your nice, neat handwriting. And I like how um, you aren't too fast. Because that would be impulsive, right? You do it just right. You stay on task, but you're not impulsive. Bentley, are you going to put a uh, on here now or at recess? Do you remember how to spell a? Uh? How come? It's a word we know. How do you spell it? Yes. Okay, she can see a fish. Okay, pretty good. The only thing I would do is get your tall letters tall, please. Okay, this S is a little too big. Okay, all right. I'll give you four stars for that. Nice work. All right, please. She can see. How come you have an eye on here still? You need to erase things all the way if you erase. All right, let's get this finished up. She can see a fish. What's your first sound in fish? Take that R off there, please. What's your first sound in fish, Bentley? Yes. Candy cane, cross it. I want a big finger space. Please do not be singing over there. It sounds lovely, but we do want kids to be able to work on their words. Good, that's a good F. Okay, finish it. What's the next sound in fish? Write it. Okay, what's the last sound in fish? Uh-huh, do you remember? Just learn this in phonics. Uh oh, is that an N? Super tall, tall, taller, taller than your S. Good. Okay, read it and see if you're done. She can see a fish. Okay, if you're done, put a period. Okay, I'll give you three stars for that. You did a good job, but lots of erasing and a little bit impulsive at times, okay? 
Thank you. You guys can go read independently. What's the first kind of letter that we put in our journal and on our paper? H. Nope, capital. You can do an H, but it has to be a capital. Okay, finger space. Love the ball. Do you remember how to spell like? You don't remember like? I don't even know these two. Like. Good girl. Now I have a question for you. What's on the end of likes? Yeah. Add that on to the end. Good girl. Keep going. He likes. Good girl. Finger space. Is mom. Good. Put your sounds for his. Uh-oh, he likes mom. Are you going to say his? He likes mom. His. his. Tell me all the sounds for his. Huh. Huh. Nope, stop erasing. Put your fist up. Huh. Tell, start with zero. Tell me all the sounds for his. Oops. Huh. Is. Write it. Bentley, a little faster, please. Okay. Please look good. Can you make your H a little taller? Okay, can you read this? He likes his mom. Does it sound good to you? Are you done? What do you put to show me that you're done? So, that was good. How do you know to put an S right there? When it sounds like H is... How can you put an S there? No, nope, it's not wrong. But do you know why you put an S there? Because it uh, is saying is. Because you heard is on the end? <gasps> I like that. It's a heart part, isn't it? Sounds like Z, but you have to remember to put an S. Hey, I loved your thinking, okay? He likes his mom. Put mom back on there. And June, look at me. You better not just go bump, bump on those M's. Mm -mm -mm. What are you going to say for M? Down, trace it up. Yes, up, up, up. I want to see down, trace it up. Okay, I'm going to ring, but June's going to finish. Yeah, do. Yeah. Down, trace it up. Good. Finish, Mom. Uh-uh-uh. What are you going to do for M? June, you have to do it right every time. Not just one time. And put your period on. Good girl. Okay, three stars. All right, go see Miss Lori. I've been teaching you a rule about the first letter that we write on our paper. What is that rule? Capital, okay. Good. This is a word that we've learned, okay? I do hear double O's, but do you remember it's a heart word? Okay, what was the hard part to remember by heart on that one? It's double O. Sounds like double O's, but what do we really put? One O. Yeah! Go ahead, and then I'll put a little heart under there. Say your sounds. It. Okay. He likes to. Okay, we'll put a little heart under there because you're right, it does sound like double O's. Is. What's the hard part to remember by heart? The, uh, the, the S. What about the S? Because it's making a Z. Yeah. Oh, it's that number, but. Oh, are you supposed to be bothering me?
If you don't like what he's saying, then you say to him, stop to him, but you don't bother me. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, you got another heart word on your paper. Hey, okay, read it. See if you're done. He likes to huh? miss his huh? mom. You're missing a sound. See if you can figure it out. If you're done, what do you do, honey? How do you show me that you're done? Okay. Show me on your hands, honey. Tell me all the sounds for his. That middle sound you missed. Uh, you missed it on your paper. Yeah. Period. Period means I'm all done with this sentence. Okay. Very nice. I should start. I should start going like like this. I like your capital. I like your spaces. I like your talls and shorts. I like your thinking, and I like your period. He likes to see what's going on here. Can't read that, honey. It's messy. Come down here and write his. Honey, we're skipping that one, remember? It bugs me that shh, we started with such a hard word here that the kids don't understand. Okay, how about this one? Pig. Huh. Pig. Okay, why do you have an N on that word? Okay, finish up. He likes to see his mom. Wait, whoa, whoa. How do we make an M? Down, trace it up with the bone. Good. Bone. Um, where's that box supposed to be? Put it there and leave it. Thank you. Okay. What's a rule I taught you about the first letter we put on our paper? Capitals. Good. He likes to see his mom. Good. How can you put an S right there when we can hear a Z? No, uh, uh, uh. Honey, when I ask you a question, don't erase. Just answer my question, okay? How can you put an S right there when we can hear a Z? His. What made, what, what made your brain pick an S? I don't know. Is it just because you know how to spell it? Yeah, or maybe it's because of this. Maybe you heard huh, is on that word. Okay, that's good. Capital, spaces, talls and shorts are okay. Your K is kind of short here. And once again, I still think you can write more neatly, okay? We're working on your neatness. Okay, he likes to see his mom. Are you done? Okay. I'll give you a few stars. I'd like to give you one more for talls and shorts, but you're missing your tall letters. Oh. She can see a fish. Hey. Right, we can change it. She sees a fish. Do you think you're done? Yeah. She sees... What would you stick on the end of that for the last sound? Listen again. Sees... S? Yeah. I hear an S on the end. Hey, how do you tell me you're done with that sentence? Because she... She sees... Uh, I agree. It sounds really good, but how do you show me that you're done? There you go. Okay. Lovely. I like your talls and shorts. You started with a capital. You have spaces. You have a period. And you use really good sounds, okay? She sees a fish. You did all those things, too. Nice job, Adla Len. Okay. Okay, she sees, see that S sound you had on there? Because we can hear an S, can't we? Okay, how do we spell? Ah, uh. yeah, be careful. Okay, fish. Hey, really good, Gabriel. What's that rule I taught you? 
that. What's the rule I taught you about the first letter we put on our paper? Capital. Yeah, can you do a fix up? Can I please go to the Yes, you may. Um, so, um, so Colt just said ask. You need to go get on task. You don't bother me. You say please stop to him. She sees a fish. Look at that. You guys did all the things right, didn't you, for writing? Nice job, okay? That's it for today. Hello, teachers. I just wanted to let you know that some days it's really crazy in here. Thursday was a crazy day during centers. I had kids bothering me, tattling. I had kids off task at independent reading. I had to pick a winner for each group to try to um, encourage them to stay on task. I had kids at the independent center who did nothing, three or four of them who did nothing. I'm not sure what they were thinking. Um, anyway, I hope it's not a new trend in here. I just hope it was one of those days. We all have them. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, November 12th. On Fridays, I work on phonemic awareness training and wordless, just like Monday. So in my um, PA2 training binder, I have made a little bit more organized system here as to what PA level all of the kids are on. So I'll see if that works better for me today. Out of this group that I'm supposed to see first, I want to see maybe who's on the same level. So we've got Kaysen, Ashton, and Jocelyn. Kaysen's on level one. Ashton two, Jocelyn three. Let me see if anyone else is on level one. Carter is, and Mariah. So I think I'll pull them that way. Kaysen, Carter, and Mariah, please. Kaysen, Carter, Mariah. Okay. And they've actually, um, what my system means here is they've actually passed level one. They're on level two. Level two is blending. Okay. Level B, blend three segmented phonemes together. So let's see how they can do. Mariah, come over here, please, where I can see you better. Let's close this for now. Mariah, quickly. Okay. All right, kids. I'm going to give you three sounds and I want you to try to tell me the word, okay? Carter. Get ready. You're going to be first, okay? Listen closely. K -at. K -at. I can't hear you, honey. Sit up. Sit up. Stop touching this and do it again. Ready? K -at. K -at. Yes, that was beautiful, okay? Mariah, your turn. Listen, uh-uh. You're going to have to have a quiet body. Pick your head up like I said. Okay, and do not bother us. Mariah. Frog. Frog. Oops, I didn't say fur og. Listen again. Fog. Fog. Fog is what we had the other morning. Yes. <coughs> then go somewhere else. Go to the other table. Don't stay by a mean person. Hello, Kaysen, you ready? This is wor your word, ready? Ch -air. Chair. Beautiful, okay? Why are you still touching this? Since you can't stop, I'll have to move it. Put your hands in your lap, okay? All right, now, Carter, your word is this. Get ready. Ch up. Chop. Beautiful. Good. What do all of you need? Well, no, no, Ashton. Jocelyn is first. Can I pick in the bathroom? Yes, knock first. Um, Isabella is not right. Story. What? Well, no, you go talk to her about that, not me. Well, I have two of them. Mm -hmm, but they're a little bit different, okay? So it's okay. Mariah, back to you. Go away, please. I gotta teach. Mariah, listen. Huh. Up. Huh. Good girl. Kaysen, come closer. Okay? Kaysen, this is your word. 
er, on. Good. Okay. Now, if you guys can all get these right, you might be ready to pass. So try your hardest. You ready? Here we go. Wah. Wash. Wash. Beautiful. Mariah, here we go. Mm, is. Is. Say it again. Is. Nope. I said mm, is. This. I'm gonna show her some in writing because she's been stuck on this for a little bit. Peyton, I mean, Kaysen, your is um, b boot. Boot. Good, okay, so I'm gonna pass these two boys. I'm gonna work with her a little bit more, okay? All right, you guys can go. Go practice your word lists, okay? All right, these guys are pretty settled here. Mariah, make sure you're on task. I love your reading, but can you point, honey? Point when you read. Hey, let's get on task. You need to be pointing. Otherwise, I'll have you at recess. Good job over here. Nice job. You guys are working together? Yes. Okay, puzzle girls, that looks great. Okay, I like to feel the puzzle when it's done. Then you can take it apart gently. Okay, all right. Garbage. <laughs> These kids are working on the family stencils. Involves tracing. What happened here? You looking for a room? Is this your baby? Yeah. Why is everything black like that? Seems impulsive. Where's your baby's face? How come the diaper's black? I haven't ever seen black diapers. Try not to be impulsive. I didn't see. Yeah, now that's pretty cute. I love that orange hair. Thank you. Okay. Hey, man. Don't let your paper get bent up, honey. Looking good. I'm going over to Miss Lori. Let me find it. Oh, two. Yep. Good job, so guys. Okay. You can go with Tommy Marks. Okay. And I'm just going to say, I'm not getting to a lot of kids over here today. Um, this week of wearing masks has definitely taken a toll on me. Like right now, I just want to rip this thing off and take a breath. But I can't because the kids are handling it, so I will. Yes. Um, is Bella is Abram and Ashton, please. Okay, I'm just checking them. Oh, they are on the same level. All right, you guys. Abram, I need you here. Close your folders for a minute. Okay. All right. We are going to practice a couple of things, okay? I'm gonna put my phone down for this so I can use my hands. Um, it's going to be level D. When I say these words like birthday, I like to do birth on one of my hands, day on the other, so they can visualize what chunk they're going to pull out of the word. So I'm gonna practice with them for a bit. All right, we just practiced this and we're gonna see if Ashton can do this on his own, okay? Ashton, say racetrack. Track. Now say it without race. Track. Track. Very nice. Ashton, say lifeguard. Lifeguard. Say it without life. Guard. Good. Okay. Ashton, say himself. Himself. Say it without him. Him. What's left over here? Him. Try it again. Ready? Himself. Himself. Say it without him. Yeah. Self. Self. Okay, good. Even on those first couple, he wasn't quite fluent enough for me to consider um, him really um, passing that. So we'll keep working on it, okay? All right, Abram, let me try you real fast, okay? Can you say baseball? Baseball. Good. Can you say it without base? Ball. Good job. Abram, say mailbox. Say it without mail. Oh my gosh, that was good. Try this one, okay? Say haircut. Say it without hair. Excellent, I think you're good at that. Let's pass you on, okay? Once again, it's really nice to just have these lists of many, many, many words in the folder. These come from Kilpatrick's Equipped for Reading Success book. Um, because, you know, on the spot, when you're trying to teach, it's hard to for some reason, to come up with a compound word like this. So that's that. All right, you boys, turn to your word list. We're going to see if you pass, okay? I'm going to mark off Abram real fast. And 
Your turn. You're gonna have to be louder, honey, or I'm not gonna listen to you. Beautiful. Your turn. Keep your finger up and ready. Uh oh. Don't look at my face, honey. Do I have letters up here? When you started looking at me, you said it wrong. You have to look down here. Ran. Very nice. Your turn. Good. Your turn. Okay, I heard you make the A sound. Axe. All you can do is make the X sound. X. Try it again. X. Six. Okay. List three is definitely has harder CBC words than my list two CBC words. Your turn. Good. What do you need, honey? Yes. Okay, your turn. Again, I'm gonna see if he's ready. Okay, go. Good. Good, keep going. Will you get louder, please? Good. Pan, yes. Good reading. Here, honey, you can keep practicing over here. Good. Practice something. Uh huh. Did, yes. Try that one again. Try it again. Are you going to try it? Come back over here and make your sounds again. Ran. Okay, we'll practice those a little bit more. Do you have a question? G -et. Get. Okay? All right. Hi, Dakota. Hi. How are you? Good. Okay, we're going to work on you saying the word fast, okay? Here come some sounds for you, okay? Um, let's try this one. B. Good girl. Okay. Try this one. Ch -air. air. Oops, I started with ch. So you have to start with ch. Here we go. Ch. Oops, my turn first. Ch. Air. Good. Ch. Air. Chair. Nice job. Okay. Listen to this. Sk. Sky, because I went like this. Sky, so you're gonna go sky. Okay, nice job. Try this one. Nos. Nos. Say it fast. Nos. Say it fast. Nos. Say it super fast. Nose. Touch your nose. Mm -hmm. We don't call this an nose. What do we call it? A nose. nose. Good girl. All right, Peyton, it's your turn. Say necktie. Necktie. Say it without the neck. Necktie. Good girl. Raylan, can you say outside? Outside. Say it without. Oops. Say it without out. Side. Yeah, that was a funny question, wasn't it? Peyton, say haircut. Haircut. 
Now say it without hair. Cut. Good. Raylan, say flashlight. Flashlight. Say it without flash. Light. Good. They did very well in practice too, so I will pass them. That's level D1. And just out of curiosity, level D2. Now say candy. Oh, say candy. Now say candy, but don't say can. Okay, so it went from compound words to two syllable words. So we'll see how they do with that next week. Okay, now I'm testing these same girls on their word list. Okay, she's in the middle of hers. Go ahead. One. A little louder, Peyton. Good fix up. Yeah. Can you point under your words like I taught you? Okay. Now it's okay to if you already know the word, it's okay to say it. You can just go like this. Yes, red, dad, mom. Okay? Once you learn them, you can say them that way. Can you start here on this one? Good. And, good. Uh-oh, you changed it to fast. Let me hear a good A sound. Say it fast. Uh, uh, ask. Ask. Uh, just. Excellent. Both of you girls pass lists. So you're going to be on five and you're going to be on three. Let's get those loaded up, okay? Alright, so here's a girl who's on level D2 in this book, Bela, and I'm going to try this. I was just talking about it. I haven't taught it really. Uh, well, probably a little bit in Hagerty, um, but now that I'm kind of doing this individually, we don't do Hagerty quite as much, so let's see how she does. Can you say candy? Candy. Okay, don't say all the sounds. Just say the word candy. Candy. Very nice. Okay. Can you say it without can? What's left? Listen to this. Can D. If you take away the can, what's left? D. D. Exactly. Okay. Say dancer. Dancer. Now say it without Dan. Sir. Sir. Very nice. Okay. Say monkey. Monkey. Say it without mun. Uh, key. Key. Yeah. Okay, it's kind of fun. Can you say husband? Husband. Now say it without hus. Bend. You got it. Bend. Okay. Say monster. Monster. Now say it without mon. Monster. Good. That's great. We'll practice that a little bit more, okay? Do you have a word list you're ready to pass? Okay, let me get a friend up here with you. Adeline, come on, honey. You want to pass the word list? Okay, come on up. So, on this kind of stuff, I know. And, and I have my paper over here. Okay, Smith, please. Got my paper over here as a reminder. You know, if kids are not understanding these, you definitely want to practice in a multi sensory way. You can use letters or anything else to illustrate the sounds. Um, you can use tokens, you can use tapping, you can use clapping, I was using the hand motions. You can also overemphasize sounds, which is what I was doing just here with Bailey a little bit, Bela a little bit. So um, anyway, my preferred way of practicing with kids is just to practice to give, you know, not really to get all this stuff out, but just say, listen more closely and to use this bottom one with the oral cues to emphasize. So, um, 
it's just a little faster and they do typically tend to get it but anyway lots of different ways you can help them with their phonemic and phonological ways okay this is the one where you're going to try the other sound since often does it sound good and so that's a hard one because this one you try the other sound but this one is the regular sound Oh, and I'm really trying hard here not to use the term long vowel. I have not talked about vowels at all yet. Um, and I don't want to before me do dibbles because that kind of messes kids up on their dibbles. Go ahead, keep going. Okay, go ahead. That's a tough one? Okay, did you try to say your sounds? Yeah. Say them. Uh, truck. Do you know what a truck is? What is a truck? Carries big stuff. Yeah, it's just like a car, but you can carry some stuff in the back. Right? Yeah, even like a donut shop truck. Your donut shop has a truck? Yeah, I wonder what it's saying. Not like, oh, not, like not. When the door opens, what? When the door opens, 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 the Bailey, you're doing great over there. Duck, stick, sock, stick, Bottom row. Duck, truck, sock, pig, sock, Good. I'm going to pass you on to list six. Okay, sweet. You did pretty well here. This word is open, like open the door. Okay? All right, read your bottom row to me. Good. Four. Yep. Kind. Cold. Mm. Most. Yep. Open. Good. So I'm not not going to pass these girls just because they got stuck on one word. And the reason I am going to move them on is because it could be, you know, three or four days before I get a chance to listen to them again. And that's not really fair to them. So I'm going to pass them. They pretty much, well, they really do get the concept of those lists. Oh, Bela, you're going on to list 10. Look what you get. S-H, the good boys, right? What do they say? Shh. Yeah, we've been learning them. And what's this? She. Yep, we know that word. Okay. And then your list, on list six, you're going to have double E's. Double E's say E. e. Yep. Probably already know that because we know this word. C. We know this word. Green. We know this word. Green. Yeah, so you'll learn these quickly. Okay, today on this Friday, uh, when I do phonological awareness training and word list testing, um, I really focused on the PAT today. And um, you can see that kids are starting to move through these different levels very nicely. So that's good. And over here, we had some kids passing word lists for sure. Um, I am not at all concerned about these kids who are still on the CVC word list, list two and three, because as we know, it's November and they don't really theoretically need to be reading CVC words until springtime. So I think we're gonna be okay.